Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today what I'm going to teach you how to do is make a bunch of rectangles. Just kidding, just kidding. It's a DIY surf fishing beach cart. You know, I got all this crap when I'm out there fishing, you know, on the beach and I wanted to get a cart and they're $400 for one of those things and I'm like, you know, I'm sure I can build this with just some of the stuff that I already have. So I did have to buy some things though, but I have here a little bit less than um, $7 worth of wood. You know, it's that cheap uh, framing wood for inside of a house. It's not the pressure treated stuff. I needed some um, two and a half inch screws. I already had these. And this is just, um, you know, for making a chicken coop type of thing right here. These are just um, poultry staples, right? You'll see what those are for later. You need a uh, one inch one of these. You know, I have this because um, I'm, uh, yeah, that's what I use to put my skegs in my surfboard. So I already had this. This is a one inch drill. If you don't have that, you're going to have to buy it and it's going to make your cost go up. Piece of PVC that I drill the hole in, piece of rope. Milk crate, bunch of extra PVC. You can guess what we're gonna do with this. So, I mean, I had all this stuff laying around, but if you had to go buy this stuff, you're probably, I mean, these things are like four or five bucks, these cheap ones. Um, and uh, I guess you have to buy your PVC if you don't have pieces laying around. So maybe we're up to like 20 bucks or something like that. Now, the way I'm setting this thing up is where it works with my kayak cart. And I got a kayak cart where you have the, the goes right through the scupper holes in your kayak. So if you're not a kayak fisherman and don't have a kayak cart, well, your cost just went up again, probably 50, 60 bucks for one of those carts, but we're still so far in, you know, 70, $80 for a beach cart. But uh, I didn't want to insult anybody's intelligence and show you how to make a rectangle. I think we all know how to do that. This is three feet by two feet wide, because I think that's all I need. But here's the first step. So I'll show you, show you what's coming up next. All right, well, here's what I ended up with. You know, there's, uh, you know, my little cart goes just like it's scupper holes on my, uh, on my kayak. It fits right through the wood just like that. I put some PVC in there instead of wood because, well, that, was, that right there is two eight-foot pieces of wood. Uh, end up being that with just about 10 inches left over or something like that. So, plus I wanted to stay a little lighter. But there it is. I'm going to show you what it's like when you load it on up. All right, so here's what I ended up with. I was gonna just put that netting on the bottom so I didn't need those chicken coop uh, nails to do it. But check it out, you know, I got my backpack full of tackle, right? I got my uh, soft cooler. Got my rods right here. I mean, uh, worked out pretty nice, I mean, Look, pretty good. You know, but again, if you don't have a kayak, you know, I'm a kayak fishing guide, so if you don't just happen to have some of these uh, scupper hole kayak carts, well, you know, the price is going to go up. But the fact of the matter is, this whole thing cost me less than $10. Now, if I had to pay for everything, Probably would have cost more, but I had all these things laying around in my garage. Pieces of PVC and screws and whatever, paint. So, but I don't know. I think I turned out pretty cool. Pretty cool. And, and none of it's permanent. So it all comes out of there and, you know, comes in pieces. So you can just take it right apart. Got room for your chairs, everything. There you go. DIY right there. DIY surf fishing beach cart. But that's it for today. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right.
拜。